Hello, this is Panda coming to you on the week after options expiration for 2011 for February. So let's get into the options service. We entered into a position uh, here on the 27th of January for the option cycle for February, which was 134, 136 bear call spread. And I stated on, on this, uh, on the email alert, that I'm willing to hold it sh uh, short and be assigned the option if it would in fact uh, close above 134. So it did in fact close above 134 on uh, Friday. It closed at 134.50 ish, and um, and I was assigned it. And the reason why I said I'll be willing to be assigned short hundred times the amount of contracts that I had on the credit spread is because I know this 134 area is a crucial uh, level of resistance in the market so these people did as much as they could to hold it on the Friday options expiration to keep it right above 134 uh, that's just how they play their games and then look this today it just dropped uh, bringing it down the, Bringing down the SPY several percent, right, right from right from the open all day. So what this means is, I was able, because I was able to have it assigned on me, I got several times the amount of money I would have received if I just got my eight percent uh, return on the credit spread from entering in at seventeen cents on this. So. I was assigned uh, short the shares based on uh, on the close on Friday, and I was able to sell it out the next this next day here today for a very nice uh, return on this. So, if you're assigned these credit spreads, you need to have the sufficient capital to uh, to cover the margin to cover the position. So. And the amount of contracts are going to be times 100, the amount in your credit spread. So I was able to uh, to benefit on that. So I'm not going to count it as as a as a gain or a loss uh, on this uh, on this position when it, when it wasn't when it was in fact a gain, a nice gain on my account. Uh, and I did state that I'm, I want to hold this short if, if I do get assigned. So I know that there were some people that uh, had uh, had too many contracts on it and they were not able to be assigned on it. So they took a loss, which uh, depending on the account uh, would have probably been a loss at about 20 some percent on this position. Not exactly sure, because I don't know the closing option price on it, and I can't find it. So, um, so yeah, so that's that's uh, that for that position. Uh, I am entering into a new strategy going forward on this option service, which which is going to be mainly a stock picking service, because this option uh, place is based upon the on the stock market right so I'm going to be providing uh, new picks on good priced options and options in the range of, of several dollars uh, definitely probably less than twenty dollar option place because the percentage moves on them can uh, happen uh, quite dramatically so we're looking to uh, to get out at about five to ten percent profit on these so I think that this service is going to be good I'll continue to offer uh, these option credit spreads and other various option plays when and when I see them uh, but I think we can have actually more success on this stock picking service so uh, stay tuned for the results on on this this next month and I'm gonna be having a new uh, a new series of, uh, of monthly income uh, plays on the on this strategy so uh, so this month I'm gonna count at 
no gain and no loss for this option cycle even though it was a gain on my account and I did state that uh, we're looking to get assigned these options uh, if if it does in fact happen so uh, stay tuned until next month take care